Thank you very much, Sylvia. Let's now pray for Sylvia. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Sylvia and for all the many ways in which she serves you in our village. In particular, this morning, we want to thank you for her involvement in the Monday morning walking group. We thank you for the friendship that so many find through that group and the way in which that group was growing before the current pandemic. We thank you for our building, which we're able to use to provide a place for people to come together, to share a cup of tea and to chat. And we thank you for the members of our church who are a part of this group. Lord, we pray for Sylvia as she serves in this way. We pray that you will give her the sensitivity and the wisdom that she needs each week with the decisions that she has to take. We thank you for the many conversations that go on and pray that Sylvia will be able to offer a listening ear and at those times when a response is required, give her wisdom to know what to say. We thank you for the different volunteers that help out each week, for those at the front of the groups and for those at the back of the groups. And we pray that they will be encouraged as they see the impact of their service on the lives of those who attend. And Heavenly Father, at this time of lockdown, we are particularly aware of the impact of isolation and loneliness. And so we pray for those who have been unable to attend the walking group, those who are feeling isolated and alone. We pray that they will be conscious of your presence with them. And Lord, we pray that you will make us, each of us, aware of those around us who are lonely and that we will be good neighbours to them, whether it be through doorstep conversations, through phone calls or through a card in the door. And Lord, we do thank you for the good news that we have heard this week about the progress with coronavirus vaccines. And we pray that you would continue to strengthen and guide those who are working on these projects. And as we move this week from lockdown into a tier system once again, and as the government are making plans for Christmas, we pray for wisdom for them and their advisers. With so many different factors to consider, and so many unknowns, may they look to you for guidance. And Lord, we pray that over these next few weeks, as your people, we might be those who bring joy and love and hope and peace into such uncertain and dark times. We thank you for the Christmas story and the message of God with us. And we pray for opportunities to share this with those we encounter this week. And Lord, as we open your word later in our service and as Mandy speaks to us, we pray that you will give us ears to hear what it is that you are saying to us. Pray that you will speak through Mandy and that we will hear your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, Christmas is going to be very different for many of us this year. And therefore, one of the things that we thought we would do this year is that during December we're going to be sending out a daily advent calendar email. It'll be a short video to encourage us that will bring us joy um, as we reflect on different aspects of the Christmas story. Sometimes it'll be through spoken word, sometimes through music or a short film uh, or even different activities to get involved in. And so if you're on our mailing list, you will receive this uh, each morning from the 1st of December. If you're not on our mailing list, but would like to, like to receive these emails, then do get in touch uh, with me at the address that is on the screen. Uh, or you could look at the Twitter feed on our website um, each morning and the links will be posted there. Uh, now Tecla is going to introduce our next song, and then after the song, James is going to read to us from 2 Kings chapter 20 before Mandy comes to share what God has put on her heart for us today. So over to Tecla. <laughs> 